guys, Risqué here, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. So last we left off, we kind of finished up everything we needed to do on the Nexus. Um, we're here on the Tempest, about to go to the Onan system. So I'm excited. Let's see what's going on here. Because I just, I don't feel like being on EOS right now. I'll save it for later. <laughs> I've had enough of EOS. Ah. Oh. What's with the asteroid? I'm so confused. Okay. Was that anomaly on sensors? Oh. Oh, sensors. What sensors? What are you talking about? Okay. I don't know what they're going on about, but let's just go ahead and move on over here. To a whole new system. I'm just so confused. This game is very confusing. On a collision course with unknown objects. Oh dear God! Sam, are you on? Collision is imminent. All stop now! Cat ships, a dozen. No more. They've got us pinned against the Scourge! They are scanning us, Pathfinder. Well, scan them back! Where is the one who activated the Remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me! I'm Ryder, captain of this ship and Pathfinder with the initiative. You'll come with me. They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. You can't take a ship full of people just because you feel like it. Who do you think you are? Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here! It will be tight. Hello? Yes! <laughs> nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find a support now. Great. Where'd we end up anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? <sighs> Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down.
We're being contacted. We have to land. <sighs> Open a comm. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. Listen, sorry to just show up like this, but I swear, we're the galactic good guys. Ethanola, Farhan and Gassad Regara. Ethanola. <laughs> They're forcing us to land. Then we land. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. We need in that vault. Please. You're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. Most important thing ever. <laughs> no pressure. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Need me to take my shoes off? I am the ghost. Mason Roa. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel, I have this in hand. Ephra saw the ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Hmm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? We come with a spirit of cooperation, and to live in harmony. <laughs> We've heard that before. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance Headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Alright. Fair enough. I get it. Okay, well, this is interesting. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the Resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. The enemy of my enemy. I'm just saying. Yes, you do. What? I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. Noted. Hey! Okay. I understand the concern, but goddamn. You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. I I I am trying to keep the same pace you are, lady. Thank you, Avela. Whoever you are, I like you. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. I mean, it's... Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. 
I mean, it seems to be fairly livable. I'm just saying. There's a what lot of them. What happens if Afro doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. <sighs> that's going to take a thousand missions. Safety. I know what that's like. That's You're a leader. Trying to be. Okay. All right. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong, through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the cat kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move, coming to Aya. My people from the Milky Way were bold enough to come to Andromeda. I need to be at least that bold to save them. Hmm. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant. Recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you the most I could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Let me show you what I can do. I won't take one step without your approval. You have no idea what you're dealing with. The Angara learned years ago the perils of messing with vaults. So did the Ket, for that matter. We're done here. Ephra, I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. But I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. Okay, I like him already. I think he might be my favorite. All right, first steps, nice. Back to the Tempest we go. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Oh, whoops. Well, you snooze, you lose, Sam. Sorry about it. But yeah, I like these people. I understand why they're a little hostile. I would be too. You know, it kind of seems like they've been through some shit. 
And I like that they kind of look like lion people. I don't know, I like that. I like their design a lot. I am curious about like how they're gonna do four. I'm just saying as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. <laughs> Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Do the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone, can we just all please try to... just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Ryder. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Havarl? is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? <laughs> You'll get there. Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. All right. Well, damn. Full roster. Wait, is that everybody? Is that gonna be my whole crew? That kind of sucks. Okay. No calls available. Gotcha. Love it. Should I talk to everybody again? Still compiling my first impressions. But even that body language is so. Okay, can I do anything here? No? I mean, I guess I haven't gained any viability points. I can't wait for my first this session This console reports on the malicious current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with tier and cadres for authorization to participate. Oh, gotcha. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files, 
and my brain by species. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the Nomad than tackle emotions head on. Suvi okay? Suvi's strong sense of faith keeps her grounded. I'm not spiritual, but there's a beauty in how her mind rationalizes religion and science. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. Liam's we-can't-lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused. Or hurt. I'd like to check in on the non-human crew. Ask away. Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I asked? Is PB all right? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. Is Jal doing okay? He's adjusting. The rest of us have at least some understanding of each other's cultures. But to Jal, we're all outsiders. It's a lot to take in. I'd say he's doing pretty well. Thanks for the insight. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. So how did a sorry doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. How did you get into medicine? My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory, things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... trigger? It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel, from when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI, and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? It was where his journey to Andromeda really began. Those events started your family down a new path. Yeah. Thanks, Lexi. Feels good to talk about this. I ran across another memory fragment. Dad made Sam for Mom. To cure her. I knew that was part of it, but... You didn't know it was the driving force? He gave up everything trying to save her. You didn't realize how important his family was to him? I guess not. Maybe that's what he wanted you to see. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Well, that was a lot. <clears throat> What's up, Liam? One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two-hour argument yesterday, and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. 
The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Damn, it's not even giving me the option to flirt with him anymore. <laughs> oh, that's such a bummer. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so we talked to Lexi and Liam. Where's everybody else? Is that Gil? Or is that Jal? Oh, it's PB. Never mind. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? A certain independence might be helpful, yeah. Exactly. I don't want anything holding me back. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. And Jal. That book hasn't even been written yet, has it? Exciting. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right. Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? Oh, is it my turn to talk? Huh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I should work on my motor. You might find that people reveal themselves more freely if you give them a chance. Cora included. Really good advice. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Uh-huh. Let's see. I think Gil's in here. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Now that you got me, what are you gonna do with me? Oh, <laughs> you've caught me off guard. I'll have to give it some thought. Add it to your task list. See me if you want some suggestions. Ah, <sighs> I'll be sure to do that. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. <sighs> hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. I hear there's a strip version. We will not be doing that. Not how I'd want to get you naked anyway. But believe me, if we played strip poker, you would end up naked. Confidence goes a long way with me. Very sexy. Sexy is good. Serious about cards, though. It sharpens the mind and relaxes at the same time. Next time we pulled up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. Good to know. Okay, okay. He does take his cards very seriously, though. I had, like, this visual of him. Like, they're just playing cards and Ryder's trying to be all sexy and, like, strip down. Strips down and he's like, for God's sake, just deal the fucking cards. <laughs> so, I mean, shit. Honestly. If it's something I'm passionate about, that is also me. What up? That Archon. 
arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. It's damned lucky there was a path through the scourge right there. Yeah, we can't count on ever being that lucky again. So, what else is new? What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Ted, this was our old lady sniper. Callie had patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CEO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A huntress's work is never done. Every civilization needs its defenders. And the defenders usually match their civilization. Like Asari huntresses being adaptable as hell. Makes you wonder what our militia will look like in a hundred years. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed to start over somewhere new together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. <clears throat> Nothing concrete yet. After four years with Asari Commandos, you must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. All right, well, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Oh, that's... I'm... There we go. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.